Okay. What? 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 Uh, this is madness. Hello everyone, hope you're having a fantastic day, and welcome to Probity Through Corrosion, a apparently RPG Maker style game that looked really interesting, and just thought to give it a try. As the Game Store page puts it, an odyssey through what appears to be an abandoned industrial complex, grime, rust, tar, worn out joints, and ground down teeth, complete reannihilation of the mangled former selves repose. It looked interesting. Sounds interesting. Images looked interesting. So, yeah, we're going to give it a try. <coughs> huh. Is it a two-second background noise? curious as to what I'm even doing though. It's like, is it a platformer? Or is it like exploration? Mm, wait. Step ladder? Mm, okay. Let's we'll see what this is about. Because usually RPG Maker, you don't really assume. That you'd get like a 2D game like this. So it looks interestingly innovative at the very least. We'll see. We'll need the ladder to get up there to possibly push the lever to lower that bridge. Yep. Uh, did I just set off a nuke or something? At least I knew doing... Oh, okay, what was... Intentional glitch bug there. It's interesting, I mean, like, interesting imagery. Although I, I could... I did find it extremely hilarious that the face of the creature was a fucking crash dummy. Why a crash dummy? Does it have a, a function in this story? Because I think, when I think crash dummy face, I mean, yeah, it was based off... For one, yeah, crash dummies is a thing that'd be in a car... Although, I don't know if they look exactly the same face-wise, but then as, like, Crash Dummies became popular in a 1990s children's toy, that shit was the best. Any 1990s or 1980s, 1980s to 1990s babies, you guys will understand what I mean about the Crash Dummies as a set of toys. That shit was fun. They broke so easily, but they were fun. Like, you had cars, you'd just pop the buttons, and all their limbs would fly off, and yeah, it was great times. But seeing a crash dummy for the face, it makes me uh, kind of lose, you know, uh, the immersion. Because I, I think of it and I'll be like, oh, hey, that was a cool toy. Me, myself. But the game has given me really, really massive Tamashi vibes. Uh, Tamashi being like a side-scrolling platforming game I played a while ago. I can't remember which developer it was. But... Um I'm going to assume things are going to be looping similar to PT, but hopefully not the exact same way. The ladder's still here, but the bridge is probably down. Yeah, okay, good. 
But I'm curious, I guess, on what kind of ambience the developer can bring, because what brought me to wanting to try this game was the ambience in itself. Wait. I was thinking there's like the windows were giving me numbers in a way. I could look at them and almost feel like they're giving me a number. Does anyone else get that feeling? If not that, it almost looks like it spells a three letter word. Tell me, if you stare at the windows, here's for a funny game. Stare at the windows, tell me what numbers or what letters do you see? Um, I almost get a feeling like the one on the very right could be a zero or a three, and then it changes. It's like looking at nothingness and seeing patterns, though, so, eh, it, there's no meaning to it. Is that a save point? Ah, it was a save plus, okay. So I'm wondering how long the game is to, if I could play this in a single sitting or not. Um, there we go, yes, yeah, stairs. Almost could be missed, but that is in fact stairs. And there's a ladder up there to be used. Okay. A suspicious gift. Okay. There's a lot of directions to go. Wait. I mean, that does look like a bit of a console, but... Mm. Guess we'll just keep going. Mm -hmm. An elevator that's not powered, I guess. Hmm. Okay, so if we turn on all the power, this should technically turn on, I guess. Because you can hear it like go, uh. Like the bzzz. That's probably telling me it's not got enough power. So let's see. Where should we go to turn on the power? Also, there's a ladder there. Uh, well, there's one for sure. Um, was there a way to go down that I missed? No. Snow ladder. Could be... I don't think the ladder would go down there. I have to look for the other directions. Actually, that's this way, actually. Oh, it is there. Fuck me. That was... it. Some of the ladders, like... You, there's a ladder, in fact, here, but it's barely noticeable. Just, oh, just barely. Even especially here, you think you can't notice a ladder, oh, without really looking. And I was looking for the ladder, which is the only reason why I didn't miss it that time, at least. Okay, that should be good then. I don't know if that'd be enough for the elevator, though. Oh. Well, there, no, no, there's a charge. Okay. I don't think there's any other pathway. Hey, we did it. Nice. Okay, we went to the lower level then. Good, good, good. Uh, what's down here, though? I can only imagine what kind of weird nightmare is going to happen as soon as I open this gift. I mean, that's a little silly. But okay, you want me backtracking? You better come the fuck down. No? Oh. Dark and spooky. <laughs> ah! A big fucking gun? <laughs> uh, I don't think I could uh, dodge that. Wait, did... Did that legit kill me? I think that legit killed me. Because I legit went back to my save point. How would I survive that then? Running backwards? Did I move too much forward? Towards the gun? Oh wait. Electricity's still there. Maybe that death is necessary? Q. 
curious. Because the gift is back down. I don't think there's a way to escape that. We'll see. God damn it. Okay, um... We just have to try again, I guess. The very... S <clears throat> oh. Okay. Yeah, we didn't get our faces blown up this time. I don't want to drop in the radioactive waste. You just have to make sure we don't get shot again. What? Weird. Oh no. Okay, I'm I'm wagering that would kill us. Maybe, maybe not. That's kind of pretty. I was paranoid about the lightning bolts actually killing me, man. But I walked into that. Either I just missed it, or... Hmm? Ah, oh, G Fuel. No coffee, unfortunately. But, um... Eh, not a good flavor. I, I tried mystery flavor. The giant gun pooped out a mini gun that then got legs and ran away. Well, now I've seen everything. <laughs> random, random rave music, okay. I was going to call it random furry rave music, but probably not necessary. I really, really hope that lightning can't kill you, but yeah, I'm not taking that risk. So where'd the gun go? I don't want to get killed by the baby gun. What I need it possibly is to... Wait. I'll double check up here. No. I'm not sure if, like, the gun would run into the radioactive waste and become a floor or something. Did did it cover the floor? Maybe. Let's try to go over. Hopefully, we don't die. Okay. Okay. Can we get the top hat, maybe? Um, game's kind of an acid trip, I don't know. The developers must have been on some really uh, wonky shit. I just don't want to, you know, die, so hopefully we can do this without dying. Because we can't save it. Uh-oh. Don't tell me that gift can kill me. No. No! Okay, pl No, don't tell me I actually died. Don't tell me. Wait, ladder. But... There's also... Okay, that, that door in the middle also has a glowing light. 
I'm going to just presume that area is done. Uh, the game is definitely strange. Moving to the next area. We got the gift, but we died, so death seems to just be a part of the game or something. Hmm. Very strange. Oh, come on. Is nothing there? Or just not yet? Mm -hmm. No, that, that, that doesn't seem right. Check what's up there again, in case something's changed. Well, I don't want to have to witness the same thing. Hmm. Mm, let's just assume that was all we needed to see. We do need to get to that button up there. not have power? We're definitely missing something. There's a door blocking there. Shit. Um... Hmm. I guess I'll have to look around and see what the hell the game wants me to do. Because we can't touch that panel or the door. But I haven't seen anything I can interact with. Unless it's one of those things up there. I'll double check and hit Z on a bunch of things. But I think I have to go to a different area. Although it does look like there's like a bridge this way, but I can't in fact run straight forward. Like you normally to go up or down you'd have to hit the up arrow. But in this situation it you just automatically go down by moving to the uh, right. So if anyone's asking, Nico, just go to the right. No, you automatically go down. Just in case anyone actually thinks that. Okay. What? 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 Uh, this is madness. Well, that is a weird fucking Easter egg. It's fu I, I hit here, I hit the right arrow key and it leads me back here. I don't know why. Is this like a, for a, a secret? If I dodge it? Oh my god. I don't know if I want to keep... I, it seems metal, but I don't know if it's just an Easter egg or if it's needed. So you'd actually get place. I have to get places. Ah, come on! I was... Oh, that should have been fine. Fuck off. I'll keep trying, because I, I gotta just see how long it is. I'm kind of curious. But it depends on the difficulty, too. Because... We'll, we'll just see. I'll keep trying a little bit.
Jesus Christ. Okay, that's getting fucking ridiculous at the end, but I can tell that's probably the final stretch. I'll see if there's any way I can see that part and get around it by, like, hanging on the right side only. But, oh god, it's just... I've been playing for 43 minutes now, it's getting tiring, man. All for a possible easter egg. If it's, like, mandatory for getting through the game, though, uh, I don't know. I'll only try a few more times getting tired of it. Fucking did it, finally. My god. Ugh. That took a long time, I wanna save now. That took, like... Normally I don't even do those kinds of things. It reminded me of like, the blue robot game I played not long ago. So what's my reward for doing that, though? Seeing myself again. I still want to save this, so what what happens here? Oh, what? I... Strange model where I'm white when I'm going upwards, but okay. We finished that. I don't know if that's just an Easter egg or, like, having to beat that. And what I'm even doing here... Wait. Left it and up is... Well, I guess, I guess we could say that the nice music was a reward for that hardship of playing something that's like playing the I want to be the guy kind of difficult game. 
I'm hoping there is no, no more of that, and it's not, like, mandatory for each area, depending on what is even going on. But, um... I don't know. I, I just want to see where this leads, and hopefully save so I don't have to repeat. But, we'll see. Oh. And so you set off with burrowed hopes, and instilled resolve. Is this, like, a secret ending or something? Wait, what? Apparently I was meant to hit Z. You came far, further than you ever thought you could. You struggled, yet persevered. You reached what seemed like the end goal just before. Yet you felt compelled to keep going deeper. Over and over. Too concerned with how to stop and think about why. Yet you didn't feel any better than back when you started. What gives? Were you looking in the right place to begin with? Do you even remember any other paths? Interesting. I was like playing the music just to like listen and enjoy because I didn't think I had to hit Z. But I guess that would be some kind of secret ending. I don't, would it be an ending? It depends on what the developer says, but... You know what? Yeah, I'm, uh... I had to hit left, I think, to get to the save. If I hit the right arrow key, it leads to the minigame. If I hit up and down, it does nothing. So I don't know what kind of page this is meant to represent, or if it's broken because of font. But left equals... wait, what? One, two... What? Wait, so one, two... Does it tell me how many times I've saved? D developer, please tell me what the fuck the numbers mean. Either way, I... I don't know what any of that means, but I do know that that's possibly a secret ending. Whoa, wait. That wasn't there before. Either I want to be... I, if the developer at least responds or watches this, that's all I want to know is, like, was doing that fight mandatory to proceeding through the game? Or was it optional and it just is a bonus in a secret fight? That glitch was not there before. But we can't get down there, that's the thing. I don't know how to get down there. I think it's like those that square thing is a vent we can go through, maybe. But otherwise, I'm gonna like honestly though leave it here. We'll need to Go where we were before. I'll double check just out of curiosity just to see if there's any pathways that opened because of uh, doing that. But otherwise, it's just clear we're getting the little gift boxes and then opening that big gate afterwards. And it doesn't look like anything changed, but... I'm not sure. I saved it, though. I, I definitely hope. But that was a tough fight. Um, hopefully the developer will be able to tell me what that fight was about, and if it was mandatory, if it was optional, and what it means. Uh, just that kind of, nothing too spoilery, but I'd be curious on hearing from their, um, you know, from their, uh, stance of knowledge, because I, I just want to know what it meant. But it's good music. But, I don't know, it's interesting, and I'll maybe keep playing, just let me know. I'm gonna leave it here, and I hope you enjoyed, especially just the few times I'd show me dying and dying and dying and then proceeding and winning and then listening to the music and then actually hitting the Z button to make the font show up on the screen. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed and look forward to more. If you did enjoy, please leave a like, comment, hit that subscribe button, become a full subscriber, hit the notification down below for updates on my videos. Thank you for watching. Until the next time. Rawr.